Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, DaveDev. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about how to install a local web server to debug and test your website applications. And for this purpose, we are going to install uh, this application called XAMPP, which is basically a compilation of multiple applications uh, related to website development. Um, XAMPP uh, stands for basically Apache, um, MariaDB or MySQL, PHP, and Perl. Uh, Apache is basically the uh, HTTP server that is going to simulate your web application. Um, MariaDB is for handling databases or MySQL. Yeah. Uh, PHP is just for executing the installing and executing the language um, that is usually only executed on server side when you install our website. Uh, it is not uh, mandatory to have this because uh, you can also debug and test your uh, JavaScript or other languages. But uh, if you use uh, a website that is uh, developed in, on PHP, you can also execute this from XAMPP. And Perl is uh, another language that we, uh, at least I don't use, So, but you, you can have it here as well. So uh, in in these videos, we are going to cover how to install this uh, program, how to set it up, how to uh, debug your website, um, how to configure Apache for um, uh, changing the port or uh, creating virtual host or um, specifying uh, HTTPS and creating an SSL connection, just to simulating the end result of uh, a website and also how to configure and use uh, MariaDB and uh, a special management tool for the databases, which is called phpMyAdmin. And yeah, basically all the configurations that we really need to do for website development uh, on our local machine without needing to use the live uh, version of the website. So. The first thing that we are going to do is to look for XAMPP in your browser and look for uh, the Apache Friends uh, website. Go to the download section. Um, in here you have different uh, options depending on your um, operative system. And also it depends on the version that the PHP uh, that you want to use. Uh, the latest version you, you can see here that we have uh, PHP 7.4, PHP 7.3, or PHP 8. Um, if you want older versions of PHP, you can just go to the more downloads and just uh, go for your operative system folder. And then there you have, you have a lot of options. But if you are not sure, I recommend just to take the latest PHP version. Uh, because it's uh, optimized and it has a lot of features that you would like to have. So that's where we're going to do. We download the latest version and wait for a couple of seconds to download. Once it's downloaded, you just click to the installer and start the installation process. Um, it will say a couple of uh, questions if you have an antivirus or something, but you don't really need to worry about it. Just continue. And in this section, you can specify what uh, packages to install with your SAMP. Uh, in my particular case, I only use SAMP for very basic stuff, which is um, for PHP, Apache, and MySQL. So um, if you are going to use other tools, feel free to install them, For in, but for in my case, um, I won't. Oh, and also PHP my admin for um, administering the MySQL databases and also accessing them quite nicely and with a nice UI. I will show that later on, a, on another video. So we just click this. Um, this configuration would be like the bare minimum for um, testing your uh, web application uh, with databases and with PHP. Click next. Also, uh, the default folder, um, I recommend you keep that as it is because uh, the exam application has some um, hard-coded paths that uh, it gets a little bit messy if it doesn't know where to find the 
the stuff. So if you don't really mind uh, where the installation is going to be, just keep it as it is. I, I, I do the same. And then the language, and then we don't need this. And there you go. And just wait a, a couple more seconds. And there you have it. Once it's finished, it will ask you if you want to start the application. So we just continue. And here it is. This is our application. So because we didn't install these packages, it doesn't allow us to start them. Um, but we have the Apache and MySQL. And it's very simple to use. You just click start and it will start the HTTP server to um, simulate the website. And as you can see here, you can have the PID um, of the service that is going to run. And you can also know the ports that is currently being used. Uh, it's the 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. And yeah, we just, for start ten testing it, we go to um, the default um, place, which is called localhost. And there you go. This is the website that it's being uh, set by default. And if you want to change it, we just need to click here and that will show you where the XAMPP installation folder is. And as you can see, it's on my C drive. And the place uh, you should set your websites by default, it's in HDDocs. Um, it has some default uh, configurations and uh, the thing that is being shown, it's uh, in this file, which is index.php. So if we delete this and we just do our own stuff, I call it index HTML. Yeah, and we just use our editor and let's do a basic hello world. Okay, and now if we go back to here, uh, we need to remove this. And there you go. This is the website stored in HDDocs here. And um, if you don't need any extra configuration, um, just uh, work with this. Just uh, drag and drop your website files here. And you will be able to test them uh, locally without needing to go to the live server. Uh, but if you need some extra configuration, like uh, configuring a virtual host or changing the port or um, testing uh, MySQL or something like that, uh, just keep an eye because I'm going to make more videos about it uh, with detailed um, steps to how to do all those things. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more videos like this and see you on the next one.